Hello. Good morning. 6.44 in the morning. It is day 2.52. That I'm pretty sure of. Because I wanted to say it was 2.52 yesterday, but it was not. Today is 2.52. So, it is a Tuesday. And it's a little nippy out. It's 57. It's like the coldest it's been in a minute. So I put a hoodie on. Because it's a little chilly. I'm sure it'll be way warm later, but as of right now it's a little chilly. Um so yeah, I think it's what we got. I don't know. I, f I feel like I got a whole lot to do like right now. Because we got to check in our flight, we've got to pay for our check bags, got to finish packing, make sure we got everything we need, and oh, got to call uh, Magical Express because we got because uh, our flights changed since the last time I set that up, so they'll know which freaking plane we're going to be on. I guess it's safe to assume we're not going to change planes at this point and uh yeah that's just dealing with that and then i've also got to figure out like times like when are we leaving exactly as far as leaving the house because i think she wants to drop the dog off on the way so i need to kind of gps that and see the difference like like how far is it from the the dog place to my work and uh, it's just a whole lot to do, it seems like, today. So, I can't really do it tomorrow. I mean, I guess we could do some of it, but, but but most of it needs to be done today. So, I don't know. Just kind of... I mean, it just kind of came out of nowhere, even though I've been following it very, very closely. So... We got that. Um, and let's see. Last night didn't do really a whole lot. Um, I do think my my portable battery is charging because I, I think I saw it this morning and it looked like it was at three, so or four. So that's good. Dodge that bullet. Um, but yeah. So today I don't know. We got. Now we got a termite job and far off land, and then we've got a uh, eval to do, so and maybe more. I don't really know, but we kind of need to just discuss some things, and you know, so it's going to be be kind of jamming. All right, 7:45. We are at work. It is. Tuesday, got one more day after the day, and then it's on a plane. Hopefully, <laughs> hope it's a good day. So, hey, little buddy. Oh, 
little black snake just hanging out. Not really little. He's about four and a half feet hanging out in the bushes. All right, well, it is seatbelt time because I did that first. <laughs> Oops. Now it's time for time. It is 536. Get this heat going and get some air condition going back up all right well <coughs> ah, wrong hole so my day I got the uh, treatment done which was fine it took me uh, about 20 15 minutes longer than I thought it was gonna take but in my defense the guy's a talker like I was, I did the eval for him and he was like, he was one of the, one of the guys that talk, 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 talk. So, you know, it, I think it was pretty good for the time frame. Uh, and I got kind of late start because I talked to Andrew this morning and then, uh, I don't know. It just, it just seemed like gotten done quicker if I would have got there a little quicker and he wasn't there. But he was there and he talked so and there's gonna be people coming of course because there always is and then my second one which was because uh i talked to i talked to andrew yesterday and he was like you know well can you do so do the eval even though you got a termite treatment i said yeah i could do that and then i get there this morning and of course it's an eval and mosquito and i'm like oh for god's sake because combos i told you it just it, they're killer and i didn't get to her house to like three and she was wanting me to check moisture on everything like the attic the basement the crawl space all this that and the other and so i did and they're not real sure what they're going to do with the house because every house in that area is ginormous and hers is tiny so even if they want the land they're going to bulldoze the house she's got a current contract so she didn't know she wanted to pay for another contract because it ain't going to matter with selling the house because nobody's going to want the house. They just want to tear it down to have the land because, like I said, all the houses are massive compared to hers. Um, so, you know, kind of him to haul over that. And I was like, well, whatever, here's the price for the treatment. She'll talk to her husband. And I talked to her about the moisture a little bit. And it's not something we can do because it's water coming through the basement wall mostly. And uh, then she had a kid that was like, had to go to his friend's house. And so I moved my truck so she could leave, and she left and forgot to put the dog up. So I could not do the mosquito treatment. So, I don't know. It's just one of those, like, I mean, I can't help it. I'm not going to spray with a dog in the back. Because he wasn't super friendly anyway. But even still, I'm not going to. She was supposed to put him up, but she didn't. She forgot. And I got back to the office, and that's that. So now I'm gonna, i got to do my little switchback merge thing. So... Okay, 6.39 and it's gross. Ah, there you go, a little bit better. Not quite as glowy. I had uh, Rocket Mortgage, Mortgage has called me, or Quicken Loans rather, has called me four times a day. And it's like back to back and back to back and just leaving messages. And they're like, got an update for your your mortgage. You call us as soon as you can. And I'm thinking it's something major. And I'm like, did I pay the mortgage payment? Of course. So, I don't know, I was just gonna call them when I got home and then on the way home, I saw, yeah, another call. So this is number five and I've answered it and they just, they want us to refinance. I'm like, I, dang, we just talked to us two months ago about this. We said no, closing is a pain in the butt. I don't wanna deal with it. So, I wanna save you a lot of money. I'm like, good, I'm not dealing with it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth dealing with it. So, no. So, it was nothing. But yet they just blew the phone up all day. And of course, like they would they would call me and then they would call right back and ask for Corinne. I, I, I don't know. Anybody can get a job, that's all I gotta say. Um so so today wasn't super bad, I don't guess, and 
like I said, I, and I got a bunch of emails from American Airlines, and they're like, hey, this looks like we've, this is going to be a really full flight. Would you like to take this other flight at a, no charge? And of course I click on it and they're all like later. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I want to get there at 11 o'clock at night. Like, why would I do that? That's stupid. So, but I still got to check in. I haven't done that yet. Quick grass. And I still got to call Magic Express, Magical Express to let them know exactly what our flight number is since it may or may not change between now and tomorrow or now and Thursday. <sighs> And I'm trying to mentally prepare, like, like my umbrella's in the car. I got to get that out because I want to need that at the at Disney, I'm sure. And uh, but I might need it work tomorrow, so I can't get it out now. So because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So you know, it's just the first world problems is how we how we do it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I just gotta get my head right and make sure I didn't don't forget anything anyway so i think we're going to try to repack some stuff and and because i got to figure out exactly what i'm wear tomorrow i'm um, tomorrow uh, thursday what mask what magic band what outfit that kind of thing um so we'll do that we'll feed up now first okay so it's about nine o'clock and uh i'm gonna hang out here with a spider i don't know if you can see her or not but she's still She's still big. Um, so I got in touch with the um, Magical Express people and got that changed. Um, I guess tomorrow at, it's gotta be 24 hours, so it's gotta be after 11.30, I think. We can actually check in on a flight. Um, I got a pretty busy day, so I'm not sure can do it I hope she can do it because I know she's always busy but she has a lot more leeway time because she doesn't drive to places and she doesn't have a camera in her office watching her every move so you know um, but yeah I th think that's really it um, just gotta get through one more day and then it's like super mad panic stress i still don't i still got to figure out what i'm going to wear exactly on the plane and it's not so much like oh well, com comfort clothes on a plane well we're going straight to like magic kingdom so i can't just wear comfy clothes so i've got to wear you know and it's only an hour flight why <laughs> it's like i could be uncomfortable for an hour it's not a big deal um and we hadn't quite we can't figure out too with the lift app it's like you can't see like how much it is and you know we can reserve a time to be picked up but we don't really know exactly how long it takes to get there hang on we don't, okay so we don't know how long it gets to get there from like my office so i don't know what time to request to be picked up plus we don't really know what time we're going to get there so I, I, we gotta figure that out um won't be a big deal on the way home because there's eight billion lifts sitting at the airport waiting to take you somewhere. Just they're not sitting out in front of my office waiting to take you somewhere. So, you know, I've got to count, account for like, is there somebody near the area? And also got an email saying that our flight looks like it's going to be very, very busy. So I'm guessing that we probably need to get there two hours early. So I don't know. Got to sort all that out. <sighs> but it's okay though we'll make it work because 24 no 40 hours from now i will not be standing on this porch talking to you so it works out i hope uh-oh ducks lumi there's ducks That's a big mouse. <laughs> <laughs> 